Hi everyone, uh, my name is Trevor Kim. Uh, one interesting thing about myself um, is that kind of my assignment will actually be the high school that I went to. And so our family ranches and I'll be able to be back ranching also uh, work at the school that I'm going to, my alma mater. Uh, that school that it, my assignment is at is Flint Hills USD 492. It's in Rosalia, Kansas, which is about 15 minutes east of El Dorado or 45 to an hour east of Wichita, Kansas. Uh, my content area will be uh, middle school mathematics. I'll be taking over for uh, the teacher that taught me in middle school has been there for 20 years. And so it will be some big shoes to fill. For extracurricular responsibilities that I'll have uh, within my position or outside of school. So as I said, I grew up on a ranch and I'll be back on the ranch. So uh, working on the ranch will be part of it. Uh, Inside of school, I'll be our head softball coach for next spring. Um, and I'll also do our middle school and high school math relay. So I'll be the sponsor for that. Um, as far as what led me to entering the profession, yeah, it's an interesting route because I actually went to Bethany College in Lindsburg, Kansas uh, for biology. Uh, pre-med and was going to go to into medicine uh, when I was doing a master's in biomedical science I was doing that last fall it was all online I absolutely hated it I hated um, doing schooling online for one that much schooling um, and just I didn't like being in a big city I was living in Colorado in Denver area and so I was coming back just to work on the ranch and gonna substitute teach at the district and then a couple of my teachers that I had at uh, school when I was going through they said hey well if you're around you might as well get your degree and come back and teach and I thought back kind of if I would enjoy science or math more and after doing so much science I made a change and took a couple credits to go and uh, do the program for middle school mathematics instead of science what my degree is actually in. Uh, most some of the most critical factors I learned about my school from the KSDE website. Um, one thing that I kind of noticed was our ACT scores are trending downward the last couple years. And that's kind of a big problem. Uh, I'd like to be able to help out with that if I give it my all to help out with that and prepare our students for uh, beyond high school, whether that's in the workforce or college or a tech school or anything. Um, the impact COVID-19 had on my school was uh, last school year, so 1920. Uh, they went remote the last few weeks of the school year, but then this school year, they came back and the school board decided we were rule enough that uh, we were going in person with a remote option for students and or if their parents didn't feel safe or if the students didn't feel safe of being, them being in person but also uh, no masks. So there are no masks the entire school year. So there is less of a change besides given the remote option. Um, and they just had it said, if so many people test positive in the school, then they'd go remote for a couple of weeks and come back. And that only happened twice, I believe in the fall and never in the spring. 
And then for this coming school year, they are getting rid of the remote option. We're, uh, they decided it's a lot for our small school district to try to do remote on top of our in-person. So uh, we're just going straight in person for the next year. Um, as far as what this may mean for my classroom, it shouldn't be too big a deal because we'll be all in person and no remote. So it should be back to pretty much normal besides they just have extra cleaning every night and some cleaning lights for COVID. And that is it. Thank you.